Hi Taurus, welcome to your first through the 15th tarot reading. I'm Serafina Safi and this is Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be having bi-monthly tarot reading so if you like that please subscribe and hit that little bell icon um also new website just launched it's in the description box below um and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a celtic cross tarot read for june the 15th through the 15th of 2018 um so we're going to see a little bit about your inside inner and outer worlds and you know where you're going during this time frame so i'm going to be picking one card for what is the central theme of the reading for taurus today what is the central theme of the reading for taurus today one card one card for the central theme of the reading for taurus today okay so i have new beginnings brand new beginnings What presently is affecting Taurus? June 1st through the 15th. What presently is affecting Taurus June 1st through the 15th? What is presently affecting Taurus June? Okay. So I see like the four, we have the four of wands in the upright. So there's marriage or a celebration. You could be going to a wedding. This could actually be going to a wedding or a party. There could be a party of some sort. There's stability here. Um, this is fire energy. So it's very energetic, enthusiastic, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo um, energy. And yeah, it's just a, a good time. So there's a celebration presently. So what's crossing the celebration presently? What's crossing? I have the world reverse so there's unable to end a cycle unable to move on this is a major life event where you just because in the upright it's moving on it's you went full cycle you've completed your task and you are where you need to be but in the reverse it's you're unable to move on and you might be unable to move on from a marriage from a wedding um, from a celebration and you're looking at the past you're looking at the past here and in the past there is the Queen of Pentacles so this is a very influential person um, this person is very practical very homely down-to-earth um, very ambitious very economical and prudent this could have been a Capricorn and you're still looking at that person it doesn't have to be a, that Cap a capricorn it could just be that capricorn energy what else in the past is affecting taurus present what else in the past is affecting taurus is present all right so i have the fool so this could be an aries and with the four of wands that could also that's also signifying aries um but there was new beginnings, there was innocence, there was uh, being naive, just jumping into things blindly, very innocent, not knowing everything, kind of just like being a little bit ignorant. It was a major life event. This is the inception of the new soul. It's starting a brand new journey and this is just like major. This is the trump card, so this could be you. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here in the past? Why is the fool here in the past for Taurus? Why is the fool here in the past for Taurus? Why is the fool? Okay, so there, there could have been a Leo, an Aries or a Leo, and there is strength. So you need to channel your inner strength. It's not just like physical strength, it's strength of character. And it was a major life event. So I'm getting a lot of major life events here in the past that are affecting the present. And there could have been a Leo, there could have been an Aries, but there was like a traveling, there was a journey. And ooh, ooh, look, look at this. So you're alone, you're single, and you're traveling, and you're so innocent and pure with a white rose in your hand, and you're traveling, 
and then you find your strong, gentle lion. Everybody's afraid of him because he looks all tough, but you just cuddle up to him and you're so in love. Look how in love you are and you're just cuddling up to your big, gentle Leo lion. Um, somebody who's very creative, dramatic, somebody who's bold and aggressive. Oh, that's sweet. And then that leads to a marriage, a celebration. And, um, but you're unable to move on because you're still looking at the past where there was that earth energy, that very practical, grounded, materialistic energy. What is Taurus's bigger, biggest fear June 1st through the 15th? What is Taurus's biggest fear June 1st through the 15th? Okay, so you're very afraid of legal cases. Uh, this is Libra. Uh, well, justice. This is justice. This is a major life event. And um, it, it stands for the sign of Libra, um, which would be September 23rd through October the 22nd. And it has to do with court cases, legal matters, divorces. That's your biggest fear. What does Taurus truly wish for? You truly wish for conquest, excitement, coming in fast. Um, could, this could be sexual conquest or just coming in fast, being enthusiastic, exploring energy, passion, lust, it being impulsive. This again is Leo. So I have Leo three times. <coughs> Leo, the zodiac, <coughs> excuse me, the zodiac sign of Leo, I have that three times. So we could be talking about a Leo here. But uh, you wish for things to come in fast, be very passionate and full of lust. A lot of sex and, um, yeah, a lot of sex here. Um, how does Taurus view themselves? I'm sorry, I've been a little sick. <coughs> I have a cough drop in. Alright, how does Taurus view themselves June 1st through the 15th? How does Taurus view themselves June 1st through the 15th? So you view yourself as the Six of Cups. So you view yourself as someone who's very nostalgic. You view yourself as somebody who um, wants to, like, looks at childhood uh, memories. You view yourself as someone who's very innocent. You view yourself as somebody who's very powerful, somebody who's intense, um, somebody who's passionate. How do other people view Taurus? How do other people view Taurus? Okay, other people are viewing you as the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So other people are viewing you as somebody who's confused. <laughs> somebody who um, has chaos in their life. Who's, there's a lack of clarity here. That, I'm sorry, but that's, that's just what it says. It's just reading the cards. Just reading the cards. Don't shoot the messenger. That's how people are viewing you. All right. Um, so what's coming towards Taurus? It's coming towards Taurus. It's coming towards Taurus. June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What's coming towards Taurus? What's coming towards Taurus? What's coming towards Taurus? Just one card for what's coming towards Taurus, please. Thank you. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is about um, generosity, giving prosperity. So you have enough wealth, you have enough 
prosperity that you can actually give. See so you're giving. I see you being very generous. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for what's coming towards Taurus? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for what's coming towards Taurus? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for what's coming towards Taurus? Okay, so I have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Um, so there's blocked or repressed emotions here. So you're giving because you have blocked and repressed emotions that you're not dealing with. And it's making you feel good to give instead of dealing with your emotions. So you need to process your emotions. What's the outcome? Yeah, you need to process your emotions because you're giving to feel good. But the underlying issue is that you have blocked emotions. What's the outcome for Taurus? What is the outcome for Taurus? June 1st through the 15th. What is the... Ooh. Okay, so the outcome is judgment. So this is a major life event. There's a rebirth here. There's... um a renewal there's a finality here why is judgment here it's like we have we have the world in the present and then we have the world is 20 21 and that's 20 so that's right in it right by the world why why is judgment here why is judgment there in the outcome why is judgment in the outcome why is judgment in the outcome Okay, so there's instability here. We have the three, the three of wands in the reverse. I, we have Aries energy here. So there's a lack of foresight. There's delays. There's delays. Instability. What, what else in the Okay. All right, so we have the Five of Cups here. So with the Five of Cups, there's loss, regret, disappointment, and, uh, it could have been, we have a lot of Scorpio energy, so we could have Scorp, like issues with a Scorpio here in the outcome. We have the Knight of Swords. So it's somebody who is all about the conquest. Um, there's very scattered thoughts here. There's a disregard for consequences. There's rebellious behavior, um, being detached, emotionally detached. There's... Um, the four of swords and the reverse there's burnout um, restlessness a lack of progress we have the page of pentacles so there could be a new financial opportunity or a new job opportunity that manifests and then we have the king the king of cups in the reverse so there's emotional manipulation, moodiness. So we could be dealing with a narcissist here. I'm totally seeing a narcissist here. Somebody who just has zero regard for you. And there needs to be a finality here. That's why the judgment's here. Because they have zero regard for you. They're moody. They're overly emotional. They're selfish. There's a lack of planning. They they don't care about anything. They're 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 not. And you, there's brand new beginnings here for you. As soon as you put that to an end, um, as soon as you put what happened in the past to rest, then you have the opportunity for happiness. You have the opportunity for brand new beginnings. You have playfulness. So the person who's coming in for you is very playful. 
they're they're completely different. There's a complete total change to to them, and they're very playful. And it's a new beginning with somebody who's very playful and innocent. You just need to awaken. You need to open your eyes. You're dealing with, it looks like you're dealing with someone who's very narcissistic. And you're just seeing the happiness, but it's because you're blocking. You're blo you have all these blocked emotions and it makes you feel good. But you need to open your eyes and awaken and see what's really there in front of you. Well, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your tarot reading. Please, um, if you did, leave me a comment. Let me know if it resonated with you. Also, I have a new website that just launched in the description box if you'd like to check that out. And um, if you want bi-monthly tarot readings, please subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you're, you're notified as soon as I um, have a new video posted. So thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.